So let's start at that bakery on North Avenue. It's called Jean-Marc Chatelier's French Bakery. People remember Jean-Marc's. They don't know the last name. Like if you go somewhere else, they'll say, ah, oh, that French Bakery in Melville. Oh, Jean-Marc's, that's it. Jean-Marc gets here before dawn most days. He was rolling out dough when we arrived one Tuesday about 7 a.m. See, that's the French rolling pin. That's the American rolling pin. Actually, I like this one better. Well, I'm from Brittany, next in a tiny little village on the northwest coast, about half an hour from the ocean. This multi-layer dough is for the simple flaky treats that some Americans call elephant ears, although they're also known by their French name, palmiers. That's a big French classic uh, breakfast pastry. They are very tricky to make, but I've been making them long enough now. Jean-Marc came to America in the 1980s, worked on Cape Cod, then for years in Los Angeles, and he married a girl from Shaler, who eventually convinced him to move here and open this bakery. She did push me and push me and more and more and more and more, and then I say, it's not gonna work. It is not gonna work. It is, she said, it will work. And then I said, okay. There always seem to be five or six tasks underway, listening for timers, running to get things out of the ovens. Look at that. The business opened in 1992, Wholesale only at first, but soon with the retail shop up front. It was a surprise in Millville. Well, a lot of people ask me what am I doing here, you know. But actually, it's a very good location. Because like when, when I was doing my wholesale business, if you take the map of Allegheny County, Millville is exactly in the center. And people will travel. They'll definitely travel. We have people that come from Ohio for his personal ops. They'll call me and ask me to put them aside because they're on their way. They love his stuff. Everybody does. His stuff is really good. Cindy Sykoski lives right around the corner and has worked for Jean-Marc for over 15 years. My favorite thing is the cinnamon croissant. It's just my favorite. Yes, and... Jean-Marc says I eat six of them a day, but that's not true. <laughs> that's what he tells all the customers because they're always the first ones that are gone. And he always tells them that's because I eat them. Cinnamon croissants. If you make that in France, you wouldn't sell one. Zero. Why? Because French people don't like cinnamon. As a young man, Jean-Marc did an apprenticeship in France to learn how to make all these stupendous baked goods. And those skinny little V-shaped things, they've become beautiful palmiers. All right. Look at that. I get an A plus today and he makes killer croissant. And then I mix it up. You have to, you have to uh, go with the flow, you know. It's not all French. That's why my business card says American and European pastries. Because we make everything, you know. Like today we don't have brownies, but we sell a lot of brownies, lots of brownies. Uh, we have the lady locks. We sell so many lady locks. But for the past few years, some of the biggest selling items here are the multicolored, many flavored, little almond cookie sandwiches known as macarons, sort of cousins to macaroons. There's macaroons and macarons. We make macarons also, and I love them. There's two O's for the macarons and one O for the macaron. But when they come here, it's Melville. They just call it, they just call it the, the French macarons, that's it. It's whipped egg whites with sugar. Almond flour and sugar, that's all there is in it. It's gluten free, but it's very important, there is some technique to, to mix the, the egg whites, that's why it's, they are very difficult to make. Everybody has their own little tricks, and I won't let you know which one they are. Of course, flavors and colors are added, and although they are remarkably uniform in appearance, Jean-Marc makes them all by hand, carefully piping out the dough as if he were a machine, but he knows exactly how long to bake them and how long they have to sit before you can attempt to put the filling between two cookies. And he pays special attention to the little ragged bottom edges of each cookie. When you look at it, 
there is the feet. Do you see that the feet there? That's what you know it's a nice macaron. That's how people judge in France. Ah, look at the feet. I know I'm the only one who makes the real true French macaron in Pittsburgh. So that's why that brings a lot of people to Melville. Just for those little those little buggers there. I think people find lots of reasons to come to Millvale. 